There is late reporting tonight after that horrific ambush of American families in Mexico. Three mothers and six of their children were all killed. Family members returning to the scene today. One of the cars there riddled with bullets and burned inside the vehicle. A mother and her four children were killed. And tonight here we learn more about another mother who left her infant in the car to put her hands in the air to show that they were innocent. She did not survive. The baby did. ABC's Tom Yamas from Mexico tonight. Tonight, relatives of the American family ambushed in Mexico are demanding justice. Their anger reignited after visiting the crime scenes, seeing the drug cartels carnage up close. Their loved one's vehicles filled with massive bullet holes. In total, nine people killed, including six children. Tonight, the family telling me the men who killed their relatives are animals. Who opens fire on women and children? Julian Le Baron, a relative, was tasked with finding the families after they realized something had gone wrong. He discovered one of the mothers, Christina Langford's SUVs. She was dead on the floor, her arms spread out, two gunshot wounds in her chest. In the passenger seat, her baby Faith. Julian shot this video of the infant. A gunshot had gone through the canopy of the car seat. We found the baby. And, the, and, the, and, the, and underneath the car seat, there was two more bullet holes. The victims all part of an extended family, a fundamentalist Mormon sect that has lived and worked in northwest Mexico for decades. Today, the Mexican government explaining in this remote border region, two different cartels are locked in a war. They think since the families were traveling in SUVs, they may have been mistaken as narco gang members. One of the reasons why the drug cartels are so prominent in this area is because it is a remote border region. Just driving through here, as you can see, is incredibly difficult. There are never ending winding roads, mountains everywhere you look. It's so hard to get here, and that's one of the reasons why it's so hard to police. And yet, despite this rough, dangerous terrain, 13 year old Devin Blake Langford trekked for 14 miles after his family's car was attacked, his siblings bleeding from gunshot wounds. When he didn't return quickly, his nine year old sister Mackenzie set out too, walking for several hours before briefly getting lost. Their mother Donna found dead when help arrived. And today, some of the youngest survivors recovering in a hospital as this family copes with an unimaginable tragedy. David, tonight we're not far from where this massacre took place, and you'll notice the large military presence just behind us. There's also a police presence as well. They're protecting the roads, but they're also protecting the surviving family members here in this area of Mexico. And tonight we did speak with the father of those two heroic children. He was fighting back tears as he called it a miracle, what they did. But he also says this has destroyed his family, and he's not sure the family can stay living here. David? All right, Tom Yamas and the team, please stay safe. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.